Hey everyone, it's Ryland with Ryland's Amazing Photography. I'm in a stairwell, so the audio is really bad. But I'm headed to the beach to location scout for tomorrow morning for sunrise. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all at the beach. Okay, so I am now out here at the beach. Um, the ocean is behind me. I'm headed to this pier that is over here. Um, I think the audio is actually kind of decent for this. Um, lighting obviously isn't great, but the wind isn't that strong. Earlier today, the wind was so strong out here. It was, it was really bad and it was really cold. It's not that cold now. Um, tomorrow is supposed to be warmer. So basically I'm headed to this pier. Um, I might throw some photos up on the screen. I have some really good black and white photos of a pier at Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. And I'm wanting to kind of copy what I did with that, except not black and white. So I have an app on my phone called Sun Surveyor. And so I'm headed down here to this pier just to check for in the morning for sunrise to see if the sun is going to happen to look good down here. Regardless, I'm getting up for sunrise and this pier is probably gonna be the focus of that. But not gonna be sure till I check it out over here. So yeah, I'm headed there now and I'll see you all when I get down there. So I'm practically at the pier. It's right here behind me. Um, I actually think this is going to work out pretty well in the morning. First stop because it's lit. So I'm going to be able to see um, a little bit what I'm doing at least. And second off, oh, oh, oh no. Okay, so this is going to be a little difficult because this pier, it's getting dark under here. So here's my trusty flashlight. Oh Lord, that's bright. Okay, okay. Well, good enough, you know. Um, so there's like a middle column. That's gonna be, it's gonna be a little complicated to deal with. Um, but I'll just, I'll kind of figure it out as I go. Some, <laughs> this flashlight is not, not working out. Something that I might do is just do it down like one side instead of like through the middle. Like just do this area through here. Um, the ocean's pretty wild, so in terms of a long exposure, that might look pretty cool. I'm really not sure, honestly. This is my view that I'm getting here. Um, I, it's gonna be tricky. I'm gonna use my app Sun Surveyor and check and see where the sun is gonna be at in the morning for sunrise. Um, Cause this could be kind of difficult if I don't really think about this. So I'm, I'm just gonna think in my head and then we'll determine if this is gonna work or not for in the morning. So I just checked on the app Sun Surveyor and um, the sun is gonna be in a perfect position for in the morning. And once again, I do apologize cause this light is just really, really bad right now. Um, but the ocean sounds pretty. I'm really excited to get out here in the morning. Hopefully the, um, hopefully the sun is going to come up and it's going to be beautiful. And it is kind of windy right now, so I apologize for the audio. But I'm going to cut to in the morning where I'm down here at this boardwalk and starting off for sunrise. So see you all then. Good morning everyone. Um, I am now here at the pier. It's sunrise. I have my camera down there. Um, I'm doing a long exposure of 30 seconds right now. Um, as you all likely saw in that footage, sunrise is kind of a flop. There's a big cloud right now where the sun is supposed to be coming up. The sun is supposed to be like literally right um, in front of me. It should be like right in this area here and as you can see there's just like a huge cloud there so not really much of a sunrise um, this is still a beautiful spot though um, I'm gonna hang out around here for around 20 to 30 more minutes just to see if I'm gonna have any luck and see if the Sun pokes through or if I get any sunrise colors but um, Right now, there's just not a whole lot of luck. I'll go ahead and throw up some of the pictures that I'm getting right now up on your screen in just a second. So there's been a lot going on since the last time I touched base with you all. And the main thing being sunrise is kind of happening. There's these really beautiful light rays 
um, you can kind of see right in here that have formed and so I'm taking some photos of them I've been taking photos of them for quite some time and um, I'm sure there's some of them that have already been on your screens but for the ones that haven't I'm gonna go ahead and put up on your screens right now So this morning went by pretty fast and that was for a couple of reasons. The first reason being um, I, I was really focused on sunrise and so I wasn't doing a lot of video footage and stuff. And the second reason being I don't like talking on this camera in front of a bunch of people, which I'm doing it right now, but it's okay because I'm on a balcony. So um, it, it was different this morning, but I do want to I do want to take a little bit of time to talk about some of the images that I got. I have them pulled up on my phone right now, um, and I'm happy with them, but I'm not happy with them. And there's a couple of reasons for that. I'm happy with them because they look um, the the lighting is just absolutely beautiful. The colors look awesome, but they're not necessarily the most compositionally great photos. Um, I, I'm going to refer to this horizontal photo um, with the sunrise. I'm going to put it on your screen right now. And um, I'm just not a big fan of this photo. And that's because I feel like your eye doesn't really know where to look. There's not a main subject in the image. Um, the intended main subject was definitely the light rays coming down um, of the sunrise. But I feel like your eye is really easily to... Um, get drawn off to the bubbles in the foreground um, and that's partially my fault because when I edited it I did enhance the texture in those bubbles but it's just I, I'm not I, it, it's a it's a good photo but I'm just not sure it's great because I mean it looks beautiful it's a beautiful scene anyone that saw anyone that would see that um, photo that doesn't really no compositional techniques and photography would say oh wow that's so pretty that's a great photo but compositionally it's not great and i think that's because there's not a main subject and another photo that um i don't know i'm i'm debating if i like it or not it's like one minute i like it and the next i don't i'm gonna put it on your screen it's the vertical one with the sun rays and um the pier on the left and it's a beautiful photo it's a great long exposure i've got some uh, i've got a ton of motion in the foreground um, from the waves that are coming up and going back and then the color in the sun rays is just absolutely beautiful um an italian sparrow has landed oh there it went it was like just beside me anyways so this is a beautiful photo great colors long exposure blah 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 I already said all that but it's not balanced um now if it was a regular sunrise and there wasn't all of those sun rays it might look okay but where in the left um side of the frame the pier is sticking out and on the right side of the frame there's the sun rays it just isn't balancing each other out it's the left side is too distracting i think and there's just too much um weight i'll say on the left side and then the right side where the sun is at it's just not balancing it out and it's not making things equal in terms of the photo I mean it's still a beautiful shot um, and, and just in terms of the regular sunrise photos um, with the sun rays um, I love them but there's not really a main subject in the photos the main subject I was intending to be the light rays that were coming in out of the clouds but I don't know I think like this one the one that I'm putting on your screen now I think it was the best photo I got today um, it, it was definitely my favorite but it's I don't know it's just something about it I like something about it I don't 
and and that's just pretty much every single photo that I took this morning I feel that way but nonetheless it was nice to get out this morning for sunrise I think that a lot of those photos are really great if you're interested in supporting me in different ways you can go to Instagram follow me on there you can check me out on Twitter Facebook um, I'm on all of that sort of stuff just type in Ryland's amazing photography and I come up for most of those um, if you're interested in supporting me in another way, I have a book that you can buy, I have prints that you can buy, the links to do all of that is down below, or you can just go to my website, www.rylandsamazingphotography.com, and you can find all of that on there. Thank you all so much for watching. Comment down below if you like the images, and if you do, um, what do you like about them, um, which one's your favorite, that, that, stuff, that stuff that's hard to decide, don't be afraid to be critical, um, I can handle it. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day.